Up the Mountain Path by Marianne Dobok. Mrs. Badger is very old. She is seen many things. Some can be found in her kitchen. Pottery shard, smooth pebble, sand from the sea, finch nest. Her house is at the foot of a small mountain. Every Sunday she walks the path from her garden to the mountain's peak. It's a Sunday like any other, maybe a little sunnier. The mountain again, Mrs. Badger. Hello, Frederick. Frederick is a white-throated sparrow. He lives in Mrs. Badger's garden. On her way, Mrs. Badger picks mushroom for her friend Alexander. She will bring them to him later. He will be delighted. Oh, thank you. Mrs. Badger knows all about mushrooms. Bolitus, delicious in ragout. Amanita muscaria, caution, poison. Sometimes Mrs. Badger finds a friend in need. She helps the best she can and continues on her way. Every Sunday is the same. But today she has a feeling she is being watched. There is enough for both of us if you are hungry. Mrs. Badger shares everything, even her snack. Is it true that you have climbed to the top of the mountain? Yes, it's called Sugar Loaf Peak. I'd like to go up there too. You'll see, it's wonderful. You look worried, little one. Mrs. Badger can tell when something is wrong. I am too small. For Mrs. Badger, nothing is impossible. I was your age when I climbed the mountain for the first time. But sometimes it's hard to have faith. And so Mrs. Badger continues on her own. Heading to Sugarloaf Peak, Mrs. Badger. Good morning, Doris. And hop. I'd really like to see what's up there, Mrs. Badger understands. With the right stick, it's easier. What's your name, Lulu? The perfect stick, made of hardwood for strength. Soft bark for paws, an extra little tweak. Perfect length. On this sunlit Sunday, Mrs. Badger has a companion on the trail. Careful, it's slippery. What do tree, why do tree, trees have leaves? To greet the sun. Where are the ants going? Where the road leads them. Lulu asks a lot of questions. Look what I found. Can I eat it? That's Susie. Mrs. Badger teaches Lulu to listen instead. Tutti tu. Turlu turlu tu tu tu. That's Frederick. It's pretty. Mama, Mrs. Badger also teaches Lulu how to help. Here's your little one, Mrs. Bird. Thank you. Lulu is a quick learner. On the way, choices have to be made. Which path do we take? Which one do you like the best? Mrs. Badger knows that life is made up of decisions. I'd like to go this way. It smells like apples and that you have to listen to your heart. What 
will we see up there? The world. It must be incredible to be at the top of the world. Oh, it makes you feel really small. Small as a hummingbird, smaller. Small as an ant, smaller. Small as what? Small as a speck of stardust shimmering on the morning dew. Mrs. Badger is also a poet. The ants go marching one by one. Hura, hura. Mrs. Badger knows how to raise the morale of the troops. Are you all right, little one? Sometimes songs are not enough. I have somewhere to show you. The troops, especially those with small feet, are exhausted. So Lulu and Mrs. Badger stop for a little while to catch their breath. After a short rest, their energy returns. Shall we continue? It isn't much farther. It's a sunny Sunday and soon they will reach the top. Careful, path is steep here. Almost there, Mrs. Badger. Hello, Will. Will is a turkey vulture. He lives on Sugarloaf Peak and has known Mrs. Badger for a long time. Little bear red head, piercing but kindly eyes, sharp claws. The final stretch is the most difficult. You can do it, Lulu. It's very high. Here we are. Isn't it wonderful? Lulu doesn't say a word. She's on top of the world. From then on, every Sunday they climb to Sugarloaf Peak together. Sugarloaf again, Lulu. Good morning, Frederick. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Turtle. Mrs. Badger shares with Lulu all the secrets of the mountain. This is sumac. Can we make lemonade with it? These past few weeks, it's been Mrs. Badger's turn to need a rest. Are you okay? Lulu takes a moment to stop for her. But whatever happens, they always reach the top of the mountain. Do you think Will is going to be there? He said he would be. Careful, it is a slippery. We're almost there. It's wonderful. Then one sunny Sunday, Mrs. Badger doesn't have the strength to climb to the Sugarloaf Peak. Go by yourself. When you return, you can tell me everything. So Lulu follows the mountain path. The same as every Sunday, but not quiet. Week after week, Lulu explores the mountain and its secrets. When she returns, she tells Mrs. Badger all about her discoveries. She also brings new treasures. Gradually, Mrs. Badger's mountain becomes Lulu's mountain. One day, at a fork in the road, Lulu discovers a path she had never noticed. It smells like raspberries. There's enough for two, you know.
I have a wonderful place to show you.